Luzerne County Council says District Attorney Stephanie Salavantis cannot hold the seat she has because she's running for Luzerne County Judge. But Salavantis argues council does not have the authority to force her to resign. 2822 Eyewitness News I team reporter Andy Mahalshik joins us live from Wilkesbury to sort this all out for us tonight. Andy. And Candace, as I said at 5 o'clock, there is a lot indeed to sort out. This is unprecedented in Luzerne County. It really comes down to a legal power struggle pitting the Luzerne County Council versus the District Attorney Stephanie Salavantis. At issue now is what overrides, what oversees this controversy, this case, state law or the county's home rule charter. Now, some quick background on this case. Now, in a move that surprised many people here at the Luzerne County Courthouse and beyond, late Tuesday night, the County Council voted to vacate the District Attorney's seat held now by Stephanie Salavantis. The Council says that according to the home rule charter, Salavantis must resign if she runs for another office. She announced announced earlier this year that she was running for Luzerne County Judge, but Salvantis argues that state law overrides the county charter and that she does not have to resign, although she has said repeatedly she does plan on stepping down. Today, the IT spoke with County Council Chairperson Tim McGinley about this controversy. Well, there is a state law. Much of the state law deals with appointment to the office, not with the vacancy of the office. So there, yes, there is a, a conflict there, and there probably will be some kind of decision rendered at some point, uh, de defining those terms and defining uh, which term which term is the term that is uh, supersedes the other. Now it does appear that that decision will be rendered inside a courtroom, possibly here at Luzerne County Courtroom. Now there was some question in the early morning hours after that the uh, county council vacated the DA seat about what impact could this have on criminal cases investigations here in Luzerne County. So the DA's first assistant Sam Sangodochi did send out an email memo to police departments around the county saying for now putting on hold certain actions like search warrants and wiretaps until the DA's office researches the matter. Several hours later after researching the issue they sent out another memo saying carry on as per normal that right now Sangodochi and Salavantis will both sign any kind of arrest papers, any kind of legal documents. No doubt about it, Candace, more on this controversy unfolding in the days ahead. We'll keep you posted. Reporting live for the I-Team at the Luzerne County Courthouse, Andy Bohalshik, 2822 Eyewitness News. Candace, back to you.